where's Kylie tonight? I don't know. Probably out doing something with someone. So I take it you two are no longer an item. Pretty recent decision. Well, you still love her, don't you? Well, of course I do, Grandpa. But sometimes you just have to give up the battle and do what's best for the both of you. Yeah. Ah. See, that's where you've got it all wrong, Matthew. I didn't win your grandma over that easily, and it seemed like every day it was another battle. But look where we are today. You're probably right, but me and Kylie, we don't see eye to eye like you and grandma do. <laughs> Son, when I first met your grandma, we saw things from a perspective of two completely different worlds. Really? Matter of fact, when I, when I first met your grandma, I don't think she even noticed me. See, me and all the guys, we were bowling a couple games down at Roland's and... Uh... Fire tonight, O'Connell. Well, he's gotta be on the top of his game. Look who's bowling next lane down. Look alive, ladies. We've got admirers. smooth. Man, why don't you ask her out to the drive-in or something? Yeah, yeah, then you two can make your way out to Lover's Lane. <laughs> you guys are crazy. A paper-shaking girl like that wouldn't look twice at a guy like me. I, I don't even think she knows my name. And besides, every guy in Fulton already has his eyes on her. Boy, keep it up on the pins tonight. Uh, Maybe she'll have the courage to grow a pair and ask you out, pretty lady. <laughs> I mean, seriously though, man. I mean, what you gotta lose? All right, all right. But if I'm gonna go over there and ask her out, then I'm gonna take you guys with me and you can ask out the friends. Oh, hell no. I mean, this is your battle. Come on, Angela. What do you got to lose? You aren't scared, are you? Absolutely no. Okay, okay, fine. We'll go after this round. Now I know where you two have been hiding all night. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Bill, do you mind if I steal my grandson from you for a dance? Well, I'd be honored, Grandma, but Grandpa's in the middle of telling me a story. Oh, really? Which one? Well, my favorite one. Well, let me tell it, honey. You always tell it. Right. All right. Where'd you leave off? Right after I dared the guys. <laughs> all right. Come on, Matthew, let's have a oh, dance. Yeah. Okay, Grandma. <laughs> All right. Now, after your grandpa and the boys conjured up this plan, the girls and I were busy trying to console Marge over her most recent breakup. She was going on and on, as usual, about her most recent flavor of the week. <laughs> I don't understand, Marge. I mean, just because he was staring at Beverly in the hallway doesn't mean he was cheating on you. You don't understand, Betty. He wasn't looking at her eyes. He was staring straight at her rack. <laughs> well, you do know that the eyes are the rack of the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Margie. <laughs> but look, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Look around. You know, I bet there are like 10 guys here tonight that would be dying to ask you out. You're right. I think I just found my next target. Ladies. Mine? How are you doing this evening? Fine. Thanks for stopping by. How now, now, baby? We were hoping we could play a few rounds with you girls. <laughs> thanks, but uh, no thanks. Now, 
Shirley, you might actually enjoy it. You know what I'd enjoy? If you and your little pretty boy friends got up and got your own way and left us alone. Well, I feel pretty comfortable right here. <laughs> wow. I'll show you comfortable. I believe the lady said that they'd like to be left alone. Are you talking to me, little boy? This is our side of town. No jocks allowed. Okay, Grease. Would you like to step outside and settle this part of town this really belongs to? Well, settle down. You want to play dirty, we can play. Why don't you and your gang go grab a ball, and the team with the highest score at the end of the night claims the bowling alley. <laughs> okay, deal. But let's make things a little more interesting. The winner gets to take these fine ladies out on a date. <laughs> Excuse me? No, I'm not being... Deal. Pardon me, you two. We haven't finished our story. Oh, it's okay. Just give me one minute. I'm going to make a quick phone call. Okay, that's great. Oh, take great. your time, sweetheart. Okay, Grandma. Whoa, you <laughs> Hey Kai, it's me. Listen, I'm at my grandparents' 50th anniversary and well, it's made me think a lot about what you said the other day. Anyway, give me a call back whenever you get a chance. I love... Now remember, you can keep on with the story, but you have to let me tell the ending because you always leave out the best of the Hey, how'd that <laughs> phone call go? Oh, it was all right. I uh, left a voicemail. <laughs> anyway, where do we leave off? Well, anyway, after your grandfather agreed to the deal, the whole town began to slowly gather around the two lanes. <laughs> All you gotta do is throw your curveball straight for the one pin, and you're golden. Golden? With Betty McCain in your arms? Knock him down, Bill. <laughs> First, Betty and I would like to thank you all for coming out this evening and celebrating with us on this special event. Fifty years ago, on September 27th in 1957, Betty and I were married. And it was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life, to marry this beautiful young lady standing next to me. Fifty years is a long time, but I know when I wake up in the morning and I see her face, I'm in the perfectly exact correct spot. Bill, you are and have always been my best friend, my husband, and my rock. Through the good times and the bad, We've stood by each other's side, and we will till the very end. Not everyone is as lucky as we are, but when you find that special someone, when they come into your life, you've got to hold on to each other. Hey, Kylie. Hey. Can I come in? I thought you were leaving for Florida in the morning. Yeah, so did I. So? Look, sometimes in life, you're gonna roll gutter balls, but there's always a chance where you can pick up the spare. What? <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't, 
that sounded way better in my head. <laughs> Good night, Matthew. No, Kylie, wait, look. I messed up, okay? I, I just got so caught up with school and my future, but none of that is worth leaving you for. I love you, Kai. And I learned tonight that when you love someone, you fight for them. This is me fighting. Please give me another chance. Matthew, you know I love you, but I'm not gonna let that get in the way of school. Then come with me. Come with me to Florida. <laughs> yeah, what? seriously, Kai, just, just consider it. Such, you don't want to live in St. Louis for the rest of your life anyway. You are insane. My family and friends are here. I can't just pick up everything and leave. Yeah, and why not? Why not? What, do you not trust our relationship enough to move in together? You know, we've been together for four years now. Not to mention, we live down the street from each other our whole lives. That's not the point. Then what is? Okay, because I can't see any logical reason standing in the way right because now. Because I'm scared, all right? I mean, if the thought of you leaving isn't bad enough, I mean, imagine having to leave my entire family and friends behind just to be with you. I mean, it's like, no matter what I do, I can't win. And I don't know what to do. Queen, we can get through this together. Matthew. Kylie, Kylie, just, just come with me. Yes, we'll be away from your family, but we'll come and visit them. The important thing is, is that we're together. And yes, we're gonna face problems, but you know what? We're gonna face them together as one. <laughs> I love you, Kai. More than I think you know. You sure you wanna deal with this mess? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm just kidding. As long as you're willing to put up with my bad sense of humor. And as long as Harvey Jackson doesn't get in the way. What? Hmm? No, 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 nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. For us. I do think we're pretty perfect together. Me too. You know what? I think we forgot to tell Matthew the best part. What's that, dear? That we live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs>